on. All right. Looks like it's on now. Sorry about that, everybody. Um, that's my wife, Sako Kasumi, in the background. <laughs> Want to say hi? <laughs> this right here is the live stream, and this right here is... It's slightly delayed, but this right here is what everybody else sees. Yay! Yeah, she kind of snuck in while I was fiddling with my internet. It dropped connection pretty bad. I had to restart the router and all that. What I was saying before... I see somebody sneaking a peek back there. <laughs> He, he's okay. Still gassy. Anyway, what I was talking about, my uh, buddy came up with that whole Survivor Squad thing, and him, Nero. Him, my buddy. Say hi, Nero. He keeps me happy when sadness is trying to loom over my shoulder like a Dementor from a Harry Potter movie. Anyway, there are still... I, actually, I don't know where the stream cut out. The uh, Survivor Squad that I was telling you about sort of a play on the whole Suicide Squad. Ironically, the person who came up with the idea did commit suicide. So, one down, three other survivors to go. We have myself, Colton, or Chaos Cross. We have Psycho Kasumi back there. And I'm not really sure what my other friend wants to be called, so... For now, I'll just call him B. For brother, because he's kind of like one of my other brothers. I'm actually an only child, believe that or not. But, uh, the green one you saw, him Nero. Then we have him. I'm getting to it. <laughs> Just seeing what you're doing. Him Foxy. Sometimes I want to call him Karama because of, uh... Yu Yu Hakusho, but, uh, it's cool. Yes, I'm a grown man who plays with dolls, stuffed animals, whatever you want to call them. I'm happy with it. I'm content with it. Keeps me happy. And it's hard to be depressed when you have something that cute staring at you. So... There's that. Uh, were you going to lay back down? After you're done? Or are you wanting to finish reading that? What you wanting to do? It's too early in the morning. It's uh, 7.09 a.m. right now. Sometimes we stay up, sometimes we lay back down, go back to bed. Sometimes one or the other of us does it, while the other one stays up or goes back to sleep or whatever. But, that's just how it is for now. Oh, I didn't even think of that. Um, I hope those who watch this video don't have trypophobia or tropophobia. Trypophobia? I think it's trypophobia. I kind of get a little, uh, <laughs> little something in the background that might bother somebody. We need to do something about that sacred lotus thing there back there. I think that's what that's called. <laughs> well, the first game I was going to play, like I was mentioning earlier, is an LJN game. 
stands for Laughing Joking Numbnuts, according to uh, James Rolfe, AVGN Cinemassacre. I can also play it again in December, because it is going to be Friday the 13th. <laughs> It's one of the classic horror games I grew up with. I remember beating it with a Game Genie once before. Without the Game Genie, I think I got to the second day. But it was also over at my cousin's house, so I couldn't play it as if I were home the way I'd like to. And school got into the way of everything, just got in the way of everything. Got into the way of everything. I can't think. Brain not work well. Huh? Uh huh. Skull cap getting in the way. I feel like a drilling monkey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, y'all have to forgive me. I went to public school. I done gone, forgotten nothings and everything that I balls learned. So, I think it was Rick Sanchez that once said, "School's for stupid people." But uh, I don't know if I was stupid enough to be in it or not be in it, or however Rick thinks. Whatever. I'm a Rick and Morty fan. No, I'm not saying anybody's stupid for going to school. You want to further your education? I understand that. It's great. Uh, for anybody who does want to go back to school, might I suggest avoiding DeVry University? I went to DeVry, and I was lied to. I, I was told that I would be able to finish all of my courses with the funding that the government was going to offer student loan people. Didn't even get halfway through my classes and I hit my limit. So thanks to Debra, I don't have a degree and I'm quite a bit in the hole. Now I'm never going to get a degree and Honestly, I don't really care. I am sad to say that I didn't learn the things I was wanting to learn. But fortunately, I did learn how to use Photoshop for, from them. So, I can actually make thumbnails halfway decent. Armstrong. Oh, I don't know what's wrong with me. I don't have much to work with right now because it's just a random arm popping into the screen. So, my ability to tell jokes is uh, a bit downhill. Need to shave again. It's not too bad, but... Whatever. Um, if anybody would like to hear me do a reading of some of my creepypastas, let me know. My creepypastas are free, so you guys should be able to go and read them for yourself if you're into reading. Some people like to read. It's not as common anymore, but there are still bookworms out there. That one back there is proof. Pretty good library on her. She doesn't carry it in her pockets or anything, so uh, that sounded really, really dunce. But we have a pretty good selection of books. We like to collect them. We like to collect all sorts of things. Everything from books to belly button lint. <laughs> I'm kidding. <clears throat> My mouth's also getting pretty dry. Mm. 
That was a hurt on it, you guys. Hey, trying to get me in trouble with people? Yes, it's a bunch of bullshit. Oh yeah, not suitable for children. Probably should have mentioned that at the first, but... Eh. I'm still learning. If any kids saw that, that's not a polite word to say. Make sure you know when to say it when you're an adult. Uh, don't say it when you're a kid. It's or even a teenager. It's very rude. Learn how to be polite before you learn when to be rude. That's the way I feel. And it's best not to be rude, except for blah 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 blah. Yeah, I know YouTubers are. They do that all the time. Streamers, Twitchers, whatever you want to call us. Would be nice if we didn't have to worry about swear words. I don't even know why or when swear words ever became swear words. But... <laughs> Some of the swear words really shouldn't be considered swear words. And some words that I grew up learning were swear words, they're no longer swear words. So things always change. Always, always change. I think I'm doing pretty well. I managed to get <laughs> one old person here. At the... So, I'm actually running out of things to talk about right now. <laughs> Excuse me. Of all the channels that I'm following, there's actually nobody else uh, streaming right now. Maybe it's too early in the morning for them, too. And it is for me. Oh, sorry about the mouse. Like I said, I'm still getting used to streaming and such. Who knows, maybe one day I'll become a halfway decent streamer. So how's everyone doing out there today? Good? Yeah, hope. <laughs> hope so anyway. Oh, things are cooling down for fall, autumn, whatever you want to call it. Not too thrilled about the cold weather coming up, but for now it's actually pretty good. I'm actually more for the heat. I'm not for really, really cold weather. Cold weather's just... It's a pain in my joints. Of course, people in the Appalachian area tend to feel a bit more of their arthritis than people in, let's say, Texas. I lived in Texas for a while. Let me tell you, a lot less pain. You'll have to... Uh, take a lot more insides when you decide to move to the Appalachian area. Hopefully, <laughs> if anybody ever decides to move here, whoever decides to move here, I hope they don't have any arthritis. It's a pain. Yeah. Um. 
Are you gay? No, I am not. May I ask why you're asking? Is it is it because I have long hair? Hmm. I just like long hair. Keeps my ears warm during the winter. You're fit. You're fit? My outfit? Just a blue basketball shirt. Kentucky basketball. Kentucky Wildcats. <laughs> Sexy. Yeah. No, I'm not. Well, thank you, and thank you. Appreciate the compliment, but, uh, uh <laughs> each to their own, I guess. So, ah, I can bring that up a little better. TTV, yeah. I'm seven. Seven years old? Okay. Uh, hi. Um, it tad bit older than seven. I have to admit, uh, tad bit older. Hmm? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I actually have a... Get that off the screen. I actually have a son of my own, and he's almost seven. It's actually coming up pretty soon. So, you looking forward to Halloween? Excuse me. I've always loved the uh, smell of autumn. Pumpkin spice, chai tea is one of my favorite things to have around Halloween, such like that. Of course, I have to be careful. All the pumpkin stuff that comes out. <laughs> Gonna wind up becoming a pumpkin, just round. Put on a lot of weight with that stuff. Pumpkin rolls. Yeah, earlier I mentioned about streaming other games and such. I'm thinking about streaming Minecraft. But I'm wondering, should I stream Minecraft or should I attempt to stream some of the, like, the modded Minecrafts, like Sky Factory or whatever.
So you don't really care for Minecraft that much? Well, what games do you like? I'd like to uh, play a wide variety of games instead of just one or the other. I don't want to be a channel dedicated to just one game. I'd like to really do a lot. Um... could always try streaming, uh, like, Borderlands. Borderlands 1, Borderlands 2, pre-sequel. I can't, uh, stream Borderlands 3. I don't really have a way of getting it right now. Uh, maybe... I don't know. Might try to stream the Walking Dead games. The Walking Dead, Walking Dead Season 2. Maybe even Tales from the Borderlands. It's a shame that they don't sell that anymore. Their uh, license ran out. But, uh, I know it's, uh, it seems like Tales from the Borderlands actually is canon. Everything's, all the things that happen in Tales from the Borderlands has affected Borderlands 3. Oh, maybe I could play Oxygen Not Included. That's a pretty good game. Um... Maybe Final Fantasy 7, 8. I would play Gmod, but I don't really have anybody to play it with. Goat Simulator. That's a pretty good game. It's funny. Really funny, and there's a lot to do. I played Half-Life 1. I might try to stream Half-Life 2. I Love You, Colonel Sanders is another game I'm considering streaming. Or Yeah, I'll probably stream it. It's a dating sim game based off of KFC's Colonel Sanders. Where I'm actually from Kentucky, that might actually be pretty interesting. And uh, how many times do I have to say actually before I learn to stop it? Stop saying it. Stop saying it, me. Dungeon Souls. I'm open to suggestions if anybody wants to... Uh, Anybody wants to give me ideas on what to play? Alchemist Awakening, that's a pretty good game. Well, I've been streaming for a while. I think I might just go ahead and call it quits for now. Maybe next time I get on here, instead of just chatting, I'll play... I don't know what I'll play. I was considering Minecraft. Somebody already said they didn't like the idea. But I want to be able to play stuff that everybody likes. So a little bit here, a little bit there. But let me know what you guys think. Uh, this video will go up on YouTube. So...
just uh, let me know there. Or Twitter, however you want to let me know. But, thank you guys so much for joining me on my stream today, and I'll see y'all in the next video or the next stream. Bye-bye, and happy Halloween. Ha, ha, ha.